about 12 years old and watching um, the biopic of The Temptations and um, hearing their incredible voices and the way they blended together. Um, and just, just the way that they had the power to impact people with just, just by singing. Um, it was really powerful to me and then being, I remember listening to people like Sam Cooke and Bob Marley and Whitney Houston and even like Barbra Streisand and that really, that really inspired me because I, I thought wow, they just stand there, open their mouth and sing and people are moved and it changes people. Best things about Sunny Slough, um, <laughs> I feel like the best thing about Slough is the fact that you get so many different kinds of people from so many different kinds of backgrounds. I feel one thing that's really beautiful about it is you get exposed to people from all walks of life and it, 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 it really shapes your character. There's nowhere to go in Slough. <laughs> you won't find me there. <laughs> um, not a lot going on, unfortunately. Um, but you probably find me at a very well-known um, American coffee shop of some sort. Uh, or the gym I've started recently. That's my new addiction. The song that really changed um, the course of direction of my music is um, a song by the name of Stolen. Um, initially had it um, uploaded onto BBC Introducing. And from there, um, I had so many opportunities. That song, it, I feel like something about maybe um, the way that I told this soulful story it, over kind of like a bit more of a dancey beat kind of really um, touched and changed people, I think. Um, so that has been a massive game changer for me. It felt incredible. I remember um, telling all my family <laughs> that it's coming. The first time I heard it on radio, because I put such a lot of my own um, heart and soul into the project. Um, initially, it was going to be called Heart, Body, Soul because it was so passionate to me. And I, all of these songs, I sat down at the piano and I wrote, um, and I, then I, I sat with the producer, and then we, we really came up with something which was very personal to me. So when I had the opportunity to hear it on the radio, it was kind of, I feel like it, it, it made me feel like that was a big step in the right direction towards changing um, the course of my career, I feel like. The hat is my thing. <laughs> the hat is my thing. I, I, um, I don't know, it kind of happened organically. I started wearing it at one gig out where I did in Camden, because um, Camden is a hat place, I know it is. Um, and from there I just kind of like, I was like, oh, I like this. Let's do this from now on. Um, so every gig I have some kind of hat of some sort. Um, the artist Leon Bridges from the States um, was at a gig we did on Sunday and uh, he had a hat just like mine. <laughs> and uh, we took a picture um, and we're, we're, we're the hat guys, I noticed, so yeah. My advice to up and coming artists is to really um, put all into what you do. Um, be yourself, work hard and then once you have something that you know is true to yourself then don't be afraid to share it and spread it and and just take it as far as you can. BBC Music Introducing Berkshire.